Yo, what is going on guys? It's the sauce from the viral kingdom and today we got a crazy story in the live streaming community on Twitter today. Some juicy drama went down and it all started when Dr. Lupo posted a screenshot of a Reddit post where people were kind of saying that he is scummy for hosting the St. Jude's charity events and being paid to run those live streams for St. Jude's. The reason people on Reddit were going crazy about this is because XQC came out with a live stream video stating that some people on Twitch get paid to host charity live stream events. However, this isn't the case for Dr. Lupo. His St. Jude's charity live stream events are completely legit and he's not being paid anything and all the money he makes gets donated. And when XQC made this statement, he didn't directly say Dr. Lupo, he just kind of said a blanket statement in streamers. So XQC responded to Dr. Lupo saying the topic went out of control. Some of it was severely out of context, but I think most people understood the top of the line charities with a good charity navigator score don't operate this way as far as I know. And Dr. Lupo agreed. He said, gotcha. All I saw was a clip. So that's on me for not watching what was before. So you think they all hashed it out and the beef is done, but no, Jessica Blevins better known as Ninja's wife, responded to Dr. Lupo's tweet saying, this guy always has some trash to say. I've literally never heard a single streamer getting paid to raise money and per FTC rules, if they were, it would have been easily known to the public. Keep doing amazing things. So XQC responded to Ninja's wife saying, this is effing rich coming from you of all people. Incredible you found the time to half-ass listen to the clip and give your take no one asked about in between your virtue signaling posts. And then Ninja's wife responded saying, ooh, I was waiting for your response. Enjoy your day, QVC. Hope to see you doing a fundraiser in the future since you have so much to say about them. And then XQC responded saying, of course, I was going to answer, sweetie. I was eating breakfast, fueling up for a productive day. Not very relatable, I know. You should teach me a thing or two about fundraisers. I'm sure you know a thing or two about raising funds. I mean, these Gucci bags don't pay for themselves. And that was just an absolute roast by XQC. And you can see by the, the ratio of likes on his tweet compared to Ninja's wife, it's just... Uh, he kind of blew her out of the water there, but this is when it gets juicy because Ninja hops in saying, you have zero clue the amount of work Jess does for our family and our business. And when she wants to buy a Gucci bag, she effing can because she worked for it. We have donated millions to charity and raised hundreds of thousands of dollars. Stop being a piece of shit. And that's when Ninja's wife said, it's very clear you don't respect woman or really anyone with again the trash i've heard you spew if you want to be sexist and act like because i'm married to a successful man that it makes me a do nothing mooching woman that's your choice to be that kind of person so in that tweet ninja's wife just blows this whole situation out of proportion and calls xqc a sexist and this is very controversial especially in this month considering all the me too movement things so to call out a huge streamer like xqc as sexist this is going to cause some ruckus and then xqc responded saying the lack of self-awareness is insane jessica your husband is an icon of our spear does that sink in? It has nothing to do with you being a woman. How dare you use the sexism card in such a trivial interaction, lumping in actual victims of sexism, especially in gaming. Yikes. And then Ninja responded saying, dude, you need to stop. In your own words, you literally said she does nothing all day and called her sweetie when she is in fact not your sweetie. Not to mention she has tried to reach out privately to talk about this, yet you continue to tweet in all caps. So that was kind of the end of that beef. But if you look at the likes comparing Ninja's wife and XQC, it's kind of crazy how many more likes XQC has on his tweets, meaning that the majority of people agree with them. And I would have to put myself in that category as well, considering this whole beef should have been ended once Dr. Lupo said, got you. All I saw was the clip. I didn't see the full thing. And I realized you weren't talking about me in particular, just other streamers. And they hashed it out. 
I don't know why Ninja's wife decided to just start this beef and then she ended it by pulling the sexism card when she literally started the beef herself. Like, oh my god, it just doesn't make sense at all to me. But yeah, that was the juicy drama that went down on Twitter today. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Anyways, it's been the Sauce from the Viral Kingdom. Have a great day. Peace. See ya later. Thank you.